Hi everybody, my name is Rhys Barber. I'm the audiologist here at Audiology Associates. We upload new earwax removal videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 9 p.m. UK time, so please consider subscribing. Hi everybody, this is Rhys Barber from Audiology Associates. Thank you very much for watching our earwax removal compilation video today. So we have three patients in our compilation. First patient you can see has come through with some very sticky, deep-seated earwax. So we're going to use the standard size ulna tube here. Now what you can see when we go back in is that the wax is stuck to the right-hand side of the canal wall and sort of encroaching over the top of the eardrum. So what we're going to do first is try and unstick it from this right side canal wall, so that the piece of the wax that's closest to the camera here. So just gently trying to lift it off the wall without sort of touching the canal wall if we can. So obviously we know that the canal walls can be quite sensitive for some people. So we're just lifting very slowly, maneuvering this away. If we try to pull uh, the central section of wax away, what would happen is as we got a grip on that, this section attached to the right hand side canal wall would hold everything in place. So we really need to kind of get this away, but you can see it's quite delicate and kind of um, painstaking work really to take this away. You can see it's starting to loosen a little bit there at the bottom. There we go. And now the right hand side starting to come away. There you go, you can see it's all starting to detach now. There we go. Um, thank you very much for everyone who took part in the poll and comments on the last video about the channel subscriptions. Don't panic anybody, we're, in, we're not going to be doing a, a paid only channel or anything like that at the moment, you're okay. Um, it was just sounding you guys out as to whether that was something you'd be interested in or not. Um, free videos are still going to be carrying on uh, for the foreseeable future. So, yep, you don't need to panic about that one. Just lifting... There you go from the canal wall. Now it's starting to detach a little bit. There we go. See it's starting to come away. It's really sticky, so really stuck to this canal wall, this one. Just slowly working our way up the side of the wax. Now, I've administered a little bit of olive oil. Now we've detached it from the canal wall a little bit. The olive oil can work its way down the side of it. And if you look at the difference that makes when we get a grip, Boom, out he comes. See, it's all starting to move really quickly now because the olive oil's worked its way down the side. Uh, it's all coming away. I mean, that literally was a couple of sprays of olive oil in the ear canal and then back in with a suction tube. So it, it works that quickly in some cases. Got a bit stuck at the entrance to the canal. Give it a bit of a wiggle there to get it out. There you go. And out he pops. We'll have a good look at the eardrum. And there we are looking nice and healthy behind. Uh, this is the piece we removed. It looks huge on the screen, but obviously you know that the the eardrum is only about a, roughly about a centimeter across, so only very uh, very small. There we are. So, second patient, the compilation now you can see has some very dry, uh, older looking earwax, really quite firmly attached to the canal wall. So we're just gonna use the the standard size on the tube here just to just to test it first just get a little bit of grip on the outside edge if we can detach it from the canal wall on this side we may be able to get that in one big chunk but you can see it's a little bit of dry skin under there as well which is going to complicate things a little bit because it's going to hold on to that dry skin and it's just not really budging very well just try and see if we can get a grip on the central section now the side just not really kind of uh not really kind of getting a good enough grip there. So we're going to go back down to the bottom now. You can see a little bit of movement to it. You get, you get a little bit of purchase on this wax. So tiny little movements. There we are. Just lifting a little bit now off the base of the canal. But not really budging as much as I'd like. So got a bit of a gap at the top. Jobson horn comes into play. Uh, just going over the top of the wax, pushing down now and bringing forwards, just allows us to get behind that bottom section as well. Now what's going to happen is where it's stuck at the bottom, it's just going to fold over itself, which is what it's done here, look. Because we didn't manage to detach it from the bottom canal wall, so it's going to kind of roll down the canal. And there we go. All coming away. You can see how dry that back end was, so two big chunks of wax connected together by a thinner piece. And there's the eardrum. All looking very healthy. So same patient now with the second ear. You can see we've got the same kind of wax on this side. So very firmly attached to that canal wall again. This time to the right hand canal wall. So 
Uh, having seen how difficult it was on the other side with the suction tube, what I'm going to do is go straight in with the jobs and horn here. I'm going to flip it on its head, which will allow us to kind of lift and just get underneath it slightly. And then we're going to work up the right side, you see, just pulling off the canal wall. There you go, just gently folding the wax basically into its center. There you go. Now we're going to go over the top and aim for the little gap just there. Press down and bring forward. See if we can try and get this out in one chunk. But you can see it just compresses the wax. It does get some out, but that bottom section is still really firmly attached. So we're going to aim a little bit higher. See if we can take it off this left canal wall as well. If we can free up both canal walls at the same time, that gives us a better chance of getting this out in one go. So you can see again a bit more movement now. The whole thing's rocking back and forth. Uh, just broke a chunk off the front. So we're going to back in again, aim a little bit higher again. There you go. You can see it's starting to roll. So the back end of the wax is now rolling forwards. It's loosening everything up from the canal walls. Now you can see it just coming away a little bit there. As we pull, the whole thing comes away. So you can see there's the eardrum there. So the left hand piece up to a centimetre is what we took out of the first ear. The remainder then is what we took out of the second ear. So you can see where it all kind of expanded out a little bit. Okay, so this is our last patient in the compilation video today. Um, very similar looking wax to the last one. You can see a little glimpse of the eardrum there to the top left corner. But a little dry chunk of wax there. Just going to use the Zolna just to tidy up around the outside edge first. So we can see some dry patches there. Let's see if we can detach this one in one piece. As we kind of pull in from the right side into the left there, just trying to kind of unstick it. There you go. See, the whole thing is it's got a bit of movement to it now. So you, so you know you're kind of you're loosening it. It's getting there. It's coming away from the canal wall a little bit. Just going to take when you're doing this, sometimes you'll break a large chunk off, which will just stick in the end of the suction tube. So, what I've done there is just flush that through, lifting now from the base. See the whole thing, there's a lot more movement to it now. A bit of dry skin underneath was holding everything in. You can see it just moves a lot more freely, so it means it, it, it is going to come away in, in a nice bigger chunk. Obviously, it's more comfortable for the patient if you can get out in larger pieces rather than lots going back in and out with lots of smaller pieces all the time and working on the canal walls. So I took a, a, a nice big front end of that block of wax off. You can see you've got this darker section wedged in the canal there. So we're just going to pull that out as well. Just backed up a little bit from the, uh, the wax. There you go. You can see that piece as well. One tiny bit. Can you, when you look at the eardrum, can you see that the skin isn't flat? It's very kind of wrinkled. So it's a little bit of um, uh, the eardrum is a little bit what they call flaccid, which basically means it's just very wobbly. It's, there's a lot of movement to the eardrum. So very loose the skin rather than being pulled really taut, which happens in some people, which is what you can see there. So this is what we removed. You can see that ready brown, that darker colored wax there. Uh, Jobson horn and the uh, standard size on the tube there as well. Thank you very much for watching our video today if you did enjoy the video then please like if you're not subscribed already and you'd like to do so you can click the subscribe button here if you'd like to check out some more of our videos they're also up there now if you want to follow us you can do on facebook twitter instagram and also check our website if you want to know a little bit more about us as always guys until the next time take care